What's up, guys? It's Rob here, and we just had a Fed meeting today. Powell talked to the Fed release and projections. There was a whole bunch of information that just got dropped on the market, and you can see it reacted in a very volatile way. Uh, it, it actually moved down pretty dramatically right as some data was released, and then as soon as Powell started talking, it turned around started moving up. So we are going to do a breakdown and cover pretty much everything that was just said in this meeting. Now, it's actually still going on, but these meetings tend to get to the point where some of the questions that are coming in later are pretty repetitive regarding what's previously been said, right? They're, they're basically just repeating themselves. So <laughs> we're going to cover pretty much everything that Powell talked about, all of the important stuff. We're going to explain what's going on in the markets now. So they did reveal that there's a 0.25% rate hike going on. So we're expecting to see that. Uh, it's already started, right? They just announced it just at this meeting. So exciting stuff, 0.25% rate hike. That is what we were expecting to happen. That's what Powell said would be going on. And it was almost unanimous vote. Uh, everyone except uh, board member Bullard voted for it. So Bullard voted against that. He wanted a 0.5% rate hike. And we might see that at some point. We're going to talk about that. But the Fed also released some projections. Okay, 2022 rate hike projections. They're expecting that by the end of 2022, we'll have rates of 1.9%. And that's actually higher than what they were projecting we would have in uh, December, right? Their last meeting in December, they were thinking we would have uh, rates of 0.9% to end the year off in 2022. But they're expecting now 1.9% rates. So they are really trying to combat inflation. They're also expecting GDP to slow down to 2.8%. Uh, by 2022, by the end of 2022. It was 4% initially in December. That's what they were thinking. Now it's slowed down to 2.8%. And the inflation projection, they are expecting 4.3% inflation over the course of 2022 versus in December, they were thinking it'd be 2.6%. So interesting stuff, right? Things have gotten a little bit worse. Inflation projections have gotten higher, rate hike projections have gotten higher, and GDP projections have gotten lower. So it's not great stuff for the market. In fact, that's when the market was moving down fairly dramatically. It moved, uh, it blasted all the way through the $430 level on the SPY, all the way down to around 426, 425. And then Powell came on, started alleviating some fears, and the market started moving back up. So what Powell said is that he is expecting to begin reducing the balance sheet at the next Fed meeting. Now, this is going to be a tough thing for the Fed to do. If you look at the balance sheet, it's grown to around $9 trillion just about. So they've got quite a few assets on the balance sheet. They're going to start reducing those, essentially just selling off the bonds into the market. Good job, Powell. Uh, it's going to take uh, it's going to take a while to really reduce that in a serious way, but that's when he's expecting to start reducing the balance sheet. Now, inflation, he says, is likely to take longer to return uh, than expected to price stability goals. So they're they're going to take a while with this inflation thing, uh, longer than previously expected, right? They're saying that mostly this is to do with Russia, right? They're saying Russia and Ukraine and that whole situation over there have led to some unexpected upwards pressures uh, for prices. And that's going to make inflation persist for a little bit longer than what they were initially expecting. So they're blaming it on Russia and Ukraine, and it's a great excuse, right? That certainly is going to actually create some upward pressures. It's a great way that they can write off some of the inflation and put markets' minds at ease a little bit by saying, hey, it's just a temporary situation due to what's going on with Russia and Ukraine. So that's uh, you know, a good talking point on their part, right? Now, Powell also said that the probability of a recession within the next year is not particularly elevated, he said. So this is actually very good news, at least good news for stock prices. You can see stock prices are moving up. People are happy that Powell is saying this. Uh, he explains some of his reasoning for this. He says that aggregate demand is strong. We have a strong labor market, he says. House and business balance sheets are strong. And he thinks the economy is strong and will flourish in the face of less accommodative monetary policy. So obviously the Fed is going to be raising rates and reducing the size of the balance sheet. So that is certainly less accommodative monetary policy than what we've seen in the past. He thinks the economy will flourish. Uh, in the face of all of that. So we'll see if it does. But certainly those words of encouragement helped move the market up a little bit, right? Uh, in fact, you know, it was a complete 180. As soon as Powell started talking, really, at 430, uh, 431 was the last red bar that we really got, the last significant red bar, and we just started moving up from there. So hopefully that will continue on throughout the day. But Powell did actually uh, say that he expects inflation to move down significantly this year. From Russia, we already talked about that. He also says, okay, this is somewhat important. This is almost a slip up that he said. He said there are seven remaining meetings and seven remaining rate hikes. At least that's what he's expecting right now, apparently. I don't know if he meant to say that there are seven remaining rate hikes, but he did say that right after he said there are seven remaining meetings. And he also uh, he also said that it was possible there will be a 0.5% rate hike included, 
but indicated that that would only happen if inflation was bad, if we got worse than expected inflation. So if inflation is worse than what the Fed is projecting at some of the future meetings, then maybe later on in the year, we might see a 0.5% rate hike coming in. But so far, we're looking at probably just 0.25% rate hikes. That's what we're thinking at the seven remaining meetings. So he also said that one of the Fed's most fundamental obligations is maintaining price stability. And this is a quote from him, we have to restore price stability. And he also wants to maintain maximum employment while doing this. So basically, he's just saying, we're going to get inflation under control. Don't you guys worry about it. That's the main goal of the Fed at this time, right? He's mostly worried about inflation. According to him, he's going to do whatever it takes to get inflation under control. And he's going to try to get us out of this uh, incredibly inflationary environment that we've been in for the past couple of months, the past year, just about. We've been seeing incredibly high inflation. It's just been shooting up. We're expecting it to continue persisting for a while. But we're going to see if the Fed's projections end up being true, if we do end up seeing lower inflation towards the later part of this year. Hopefully that will be the case, but you never know uh, with what the Fed says, right? They said this whole thing was transitory, so you really don't know. But at the very least, we can see stock prices are moving up on this meeting. So all things considered, it was a very volatile meeting, but also at the end of the day, uh, it's, it was a green meeting. So you can't really complain about that unless you're short. And other than that, guys, keep in mind, none of this is financial advice. I'm just letting you guys know some of the bullet points, basically just a rundown of what went on at the Fed today, what Powell said. And if you enjoyed that, feel free to subscribe to the video if you want more of this kind of stuff. And other than that, guys, have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.